Weeks into the quarantine, hospitals in Metro Manila have declared that they are at capacity with COVID-19 related cases. With insufficient bed space, our hospitals will likely face the worst case scenario if we don't take action. To adjust the growing concern quickly and efficiently, WTA Architecture and Design Studio and industry experts designed an emergency quarantine facility that can be built in only five days to help hospitals augment their space. Medical organizations and local government units collaborated with the EQF team to build the facilities near or on their property to be able to functionally accommodate suspected cases. The idea behind all this was that we wanted to find what architecture can do in this crisis, what role architects have to play in our communities. And we want to show that we are here to build for our communities. Thinking about this problem, we figured that basically building quarantine facilities is the only way for us to keep the growth of this virus down. And so we're creating space for everyone, letting everyone know that there's a space for them. Uh, we're building these to augment the hospitals and trying to increase the capacity of all our healthcare system. So what we thought about was that the most important thing that we need is speed and scalability. So we're using wood and plastic. Materials that are very forgiving, that are very familiar. These are materials that don't need to have special equipment or training, and that can be spread out across our archipelagic nation. And for architecture to really matter, we have to build for everyone. Each EQF benefits at least 16 patients with sanitizing areas for medical responders. The structure's material design is flexible in order to accommodate modifications to reach small barangays. Dito po sa facility po na to, maayos po kami na kapagpahinga. Isa pa po, uh, malamig po siya, kumbaga komportable po kami na ka, nakakuha ng aming tulog po or ng aming... Um, yung pahinga po na kailangan namin is natutugunan po sa pamamagitan ng facility po na ito. Today, we have built 62 emergency quarantine facilities. Your donations have come so far, but the work is not yet done. At this point of our build journey, we have come to realize that it takes each one of us to overcome the current crisis. Your participation matters. Your continued support will help flatten the curve. Help us enable our medical frontliners to treat the sick and heal the wounded. Because in our darkest hours, as a nation, we build as one.